From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Rory Johnston. Here are your latest headlines. The attorney for 17-year-old Jayona Brown says Officer John Anderson was traveling much faster than allowed when he, she crashed into his car, killing him. Mitchie Gibson says the report shows the officer was going more than 70 miles per hour seconds before the crash. The speed limit on that stretch of road is 35 miles per hour, and in an emergency, officers can go no more than 10 over the limit. Gibson claims his client, Brown, was going about 40 miles per hour. Well, a middle Tennessee small town is down to just one officer to patrol its limits. That's because four of the five officers up in Red Boiling Springs were hired away by the Macon County Sheriff's Office, including the chief and assistant chief. Macon County Sheriff Mark Gammon says the officers chose on their own to apply for those jobs and he wanted to hire the best available. So now the one remaining officer in Red Boiling Springs, Jeff Gentry, will serve as interim chief and they're hiring. Police want to find a man who attacked a woman at her hotel room at the JW Marriott downtown earlier this month. Video from August 4th appears to show him follow her into the hotel up to the same floor. He waited until she swiped her key card in her room to attack her. She fought back and was able to fend him off. So take a look. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers. It's an effort to set kids on the right path when it comes to education. The News Channel 5 Network is taking part in the Scripps Howard Foundation's If You Give a Child a Book campaign. A child who can't read proficiently by third grade is four times less likely to graduate high school. So we'd like you to join us in this mission. We have information on our website, newschannel5.com. Now with the latest on your forecast, here's Bree. Muggy conditions overnight tonight. You'll hear those bugs screaming outside in the heat and humidity. 75 overnight tonight. Rain chance is steadily increasing Tuesday. It's our first real chance for rain and with it some rain cooled air, but it's not going to last. Plan on another hot day. 95 40% chance for rain in the afternoon. That'll drop off just a touch Wednesday down to 30 and then ramp back up big time Thursday, Friday. Those look to be the wettest days, not just in the next seven days, but the wettest we've seen in quite some time with widespread showers and storms.